you're probably not gonna be able to guess how much I paid for this car. Um, it actually, I've I've been looking at C3 Corvettes for a long time, and you know, there's this thing about C3 Corvettes that they're uh, they're the worst of all the Corvettes, and I guess you could say they are performance-wise because they're the weakest of all the Corvettes. They uh, at their worst made 150 horsepower. So, so terrible, awful performance. But this is not the stock engine. All right, well, what's up, people? I'm out here with my Corvette, and it's looking pretty nice. Let me tell you all of the things that I have fixed on it. Let me open up the hood for you. Okay, let me show you. Okay, I know last time might have seemed like, uh, I don't know, that guy that sold me the Corvette wasn't the greatest guy, but actually he was a really nice guy. His name was Tom, um, but he was a really really nice guy and he gave me a, a nice deal on this Corvette which actually you're probably gonna be surprised how much I paid for this vehicle right here um, it took some work getting it back in order let me go through all the things with you okay so the carburetor had to get that tuned got the timing uh, advanced um, I got that checked um, I got a new air filter for it because this one fits better. Oh gosh. Let's see, new radiator. Put put that in right there. That that was a fun, fun little ditty. That was uh that was fun driving it home because I had the old one in it, so it was just leaking coolant. Uh I'm really glad I didn't blow a head gasket. That could have been really bad. Um let's see here. Oh, yep. Uh fuel filter right here. Had to change that. Lovely piping job, David. <laughs> Actually, okay, so funny story with the uh, fuel filter. So what happened to me was I was, uh, I, fi I fixed the fuel filter, right? And, uh, or not the fuel filter, fuel pump, fuel pump. And uh, I, <laughs> I just got it fixed and man, it was, a real, it was a real pain to get it off because they put it in with half inch uh, Allen key bolts instead of regular bolts. I don't know why they didn't do normal ones, but anyway. So, they put in uh, the weird bolts. I got it out. I put in the new one, and the new pipe, it got crimped, but I didn't realize it until I got halfway to Beaufort to O'Reilly's, and <laughs> all of a sudden it starts sputtering, and I think it's out of gas, and I broke down in front of the air station because this fuel line right here was crimped, and I didn't realize it. And I didn't have any tools in the back of my car because, you know, I'm, I'm such a genius about this stuff. Anyway, I figured it out anyway. There, I had, okay, I had four little, like, I had, let's see, what was it? Okay, I had four hubcaps, a Rust-Oleum cap, and a golf tee. So I took the golf tee and I, I wedged it on the line just to, just right so it would uncrimp it and I got going down the road again but you know it's an experience if you've never broken down in a car before especially in such a public place like that with like a ton of cars going by it's actually kind of an interesting fun experience if you're into that kind of thing most people aren't but um yeah so you're probably not going to be able to guess how much I paid for this car. Um, it actually, I've I've been looking at C3 Corvettes for a long time, and you know, there's this thing about C3 Corvettes that they're uh, they're the worst of all the Corvettes, and I guess you could say they are performance-wise because they're the weakest of all the Corvettes. They uh, at their worst made 150 horsepower. So so terrible, awful performance, but. This is not the stock engine. This is, um, it's, it's a newer motor. I'm not sure where they got it from, but it's, uh, it's definitely got some power. I don't have the exact numbers, but I'm guessing, you know, but Dino says like upper 200s on the horsepower at least, 
at least. I'm being like, you know, moderate with my estimations, but I think the torque, it's got loads of torque. I mean, it's an old Chevy 350. Look at the back. It's got plenty of that. Um, so it's very easy to lose control in this car because you can spin the tires like nothing. Anyway, um, it had a new engine. That's what, uh, what really uh, attracted me to the car in the first place. So I think I got a, a pretty decent deal on it. I ended up paying $6,800 for this car. And that's with all the problems that it had, you know, um, it took some work. I actually added up the numbers of, uh, <clears throat> of how much stuff I bought and, uh, all the, you know, well, I guess I didn't include cost of labor, but basically it came out to about $9,000 even total cost, everything included, uh, for the car. And surprisingly the gas mileage is pretty good for this chevy 350 i don't know what kind of cam or uh i don't know what it is but uh it gets really great gas mileage for a 350 which i mean doesn't say a lot it's probably like 15 miles per gallon instead of 12 miles per gallon. but it's uh it's pretty good and i think it's ready to drive across the country just like i am man i am thrilled I cannot wait to leave for the trip, which is actually next Wednesday, so May 1st, that's going to be the day me and Noah are going to take off. Oh, also, Noah, um, so Noah was going to take his motorcycle, uh, but that's not going to work out anymore. He's going to take uh, his, his parents' Audi because he actually doesn't have a motorcycle license, and he got pulled over the other day. He's been riding his whole life. But uh, he thought that it just kind of applied when you got a car license, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah, if uh, if he got pulled over out of state uh, without a motorcycle license, they wouldn't let him ride it, and his motorcycle would probably get impounded. So that would be a major bummer. And, uh, I mean, now, if he if, since he's not going on the motorcycle, it's going to be, like, a pretty relaxed trip. But... Yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. Oh gosh, I've <laughs> I've started working on uh, buying new gear for uh, for the gigs I'm planning on doing this summer. That's going to be a lot of fun too. I've got all these uh, these stacks of speakers that I'm going to have on the way as soon as I uh, as soon as I pull the trigger and order them. Uh, it's it's going to be a blast over the, possibly the Tiki Hut. Hopefully, if everything works out, all over Beaufort and Hilton Head. It's going to be a blast, but. <sighs> Alright, well, everybody have a lovely May. I'm going to take my Corvette home and probably do some reading and preparing. Peace out, y'all.